Americans consume over one and a half billion gallons of ice cream each year. But most of us never stop to think about how ice cream gets made. On dairy farms throughout Vermont, the hard, endless work needed to keep the cows milked and the industry running is done by predominantly immigrant labor, mostly from Mexico and Central America. Miguel, one of the farm workers, has come to the office today to work with Kike. Miguel is being trained in the particular leadership development process that is integral to the success of migrant justice. Founded in 2009, the organization works to secure the fundamental human rights of migrant workers who labor in Vermont's iconic dairy farms. Like Miguel, many dairy workers work 60 to 80 hours a week with no days off and make less than minimum wage. Their housing is substandard and overcrowded. Many farm workers get sick or injured each year, but they have limited access to health care. Migrant justice works to improve the daily lives of the dairy workers by creating a community of powerful activists, the workers themselves, in collaboration with community partners and allies. They help the workers organize, express their fears and concerns, and develop the skills they need to find solutions to their problems. In 2013, they organized a grassroots network to win legislation for all Vermont residents to have access to driver's licenses, regardless of immigration status, a boom in rural Vermont where isolation is a common complaint. In 2014, Migrant Justice organized a broad coalition to pass a law that prohibits state police from using public resources for immigration enforcement, and their new campaign Milk with Dignity publicly calls on Ben and Jerry's to take the lead in the dairy industry to ensure that human rights are maintained in their supply chain. Migrant Justice has secured a promise from Ben and Jerry's that they will sign the legally binding agreement and uphold the farm workers' code of conduct. A promise to sign, but two years later, no agreement yet. And so the fight goes on. Ben and Jerry should get behind this. They should follow through on this commitment. And we need all of you who've come out to support Kike, who've come out to support Zuli, who've come out to support Alex, to help build this momentum. One of the newest challenges that migrant justice faces is the administration's increased focus on activists and organizers. Three of the group's leaders were arrested while leaving the Burlington office one day in March. They were undocumented, but had committed no other crimes. The arrests sparked protests throughout Vermont and in Boston, where they were being detained. Civil rights groups across the country demanded their release. Zuli and Kike were released and returned to work. Alex's fate is still being determined. And as they continue their work, undeterred by attacks or hateful laws or regulations, support for migrant justice continues to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zuli Palacios. Enrique Balcazar and Brendan O'Neill. ¿Se puede? Sí, se puede. ¿Se puede? Sí, se puede. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Enrique Balcázar, soy indocumentado en este país, soy parte de la comunidad migrante en Vermont y estoy muy agradecido de estar hoy aquí con todos ustedes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Enrique Balcázar. I am undocumented and part of the Vermont far farm worker community, and I'm grateful to be here with all of you tonight. 
la comunidad migrante ha alzado su voz y se ha organizado para definir y defender los derechos, el cual nos ha llevado a tener triunfos importantes bajo el marco de derechos humanos, como el derecho a la movilización, obteniendo, ganando la licencia de conducir, también parando la discriminación y la colaboración entre policías y agentes de migración. The Vermont farm worker community have raised our voices and organized to defend our rights throughout Vermont. This has led us to win important human rights victories, such as the human right to freedom, from uh, to freedom of movement, securing access to driver's licenses in Vermont, also defending the human right to live free from discrimination by stopping collaboration between law enforcement officials and immigration enforcement. Actualmente, en nuestra campaña Leche con Dignidad, la cual ha sido prioridad para nosotros los trabajadores lecheros en Vermont, para ser responsables a las grandes corporaciones. Hoy en día estamos en campaña con Ben and Jerry's, que no ha firmado un contrato que se hizo compromiso hace dos años, que se hace rico de la, obra, de la mano de obra barata sin importar las malas condiciones que enfrentamos. Somos muy afortunados hoy de estar aquí recibiendo el premio para toda la comunidad migrante en este país. Muchas gracias. Currently, we have a campaign called Milk with Dignity, which has been the priority of dairy workers in Vermont. In this campaign, we hold dairy corporations accountable for getting rich off of the cheap labor of immigrant workers and turning their, a blind eye to the work, poor working conditions in their supply chains. This includes Ben and Jerry's, who has made a commitment two years ago to stand up for our human rights and has yet to follow through. We are deeply grateful and appreciative to receive this award, and it's a, it's a deep honor for our community. Thank you.